guys, welcome back into another video here on the Banjo Attic page. Thank you so much for pushing that play button. Today, I wanna to show you all a decently simple version of a Rocky Top solo verse. Uh, just something that you can learn pretty quick and have a, just a little bit something in your repertoire that you, repertoire, I always say that wrong, repertoire, repertoire, that's how you say it. But you can have something that you can just sit around and play that you know how to play and it's pretty easy to learn. It's a simple song and it makes you feel like you're doing something. Uh, you really are, I mean, if you learn this song, but uh, it's not the whole song and it's just a little thing you can do, and it's, especially if you're warming up or whatever. But anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna do with your two fingers on the first and second string is you're just going to uh, pick those two strings together. And then with your left hand, you're gonna pick it open. You're gonna pick it with your index finger on the second string first fret. Index on your second string on the second fret. So that's all the that's all the beginning of it is. And then you pick with your middle finger on the first string open. So it's one, so. Now it's a hammer on from two to three on the second string. With uh, that behind it. <laughs> so you're hammering on from two to three, but hold your middle finger on three as you do a forward roll, which will be the next part. So you'll hammer on. Okay, so hammer on from two to three. Hold your finger there. So let's work on that for just a minute. Hammer on. Okay. So. Now you do a double hammer on on the second string after you do that forward row, so it's a, and with your right hand, you're gonna pluck the first time with your index finger on the first, on the second string, and then your thumb. So it's index, middle, like index, middle, thumb, middle. Index, middle, thumb. what you it's a double hammer on so you'll go through this and then at the end of the second one you leave that middle finger down again so you'll hammer on hammer on and then you'll do that roll back through with this one fretted on your middle finger and still leave it there because you're gonna do a, your two fingers again and you're just gonna pull off right here. Okay, so let's go over that first line right quick. That's what the first line should sound like. Next line, you're going to a, a C, so after you do this after you do this two finger pull off on your bottom two strings, one and two, you're gonna go straight to a, a partial C up here, which will be um, your index finger on the second string first fret and your <clears throat> ring finger on the first string second fret. Do your partial C right here. And then you're gonna double, double stroke again on the first and second string. And then you're gonna roll through it, a forward roll that's a, uh, a five, two, one, five. And then a double pick again on one and two. So it sounds like. And then from there you go into another hammer on, but this one is a 
I call it a double thumb. It's just like the double hammer on. It's just the second time you don't hammer on. So you hammer on the first time with the index to the middle. Right? And then your thumb on the second. Thumb middle one. And then thumb on the third. It's hard to explain. So you hammer on. Ah, I missed it. So hammer on. Thumb on the second string. Middle on the first. Thumb on the third. And then you end that with a um, thumb on the drone string, fifth string, and your middle finger on the first. So all this will sound like. Then we go over here to the fourth string and we do a slide from two to five. And it's a forward reverse roll through this. So it's uh It'll be four, three, one, five. It'll be four, three, one, five. And then one, two, three, one. Okay, so four, three, one, five. One, two, three, one. through that part we're going to go to a, a d7 so you're going to go to a d7 chord up here uh and this one is was tricky for me to learn at first to be honest with you so the first part of this is three two then you pull your middle finger off this chord and you hit three again and then you hit the one string with your middle finger you put this finger back down and you do a forward row, which is three, two, one, five, pull them off and do a double pull on one and two. Three, two, three, one, three, two, one, five. In the Tennessee Hills. So that this next part that we've done, this is what the second line sounds like all the way through. And then once you've got that down, the rest of it is just forward roll. So it's just a, uh, a five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, three times, and then back into. That's what it plays like all the way through, and that's how you, that's how you kind of sound it. There's a there's a bottom, uh, an up the neck uh, part to this. Uh, I may get into later on, but this is just a a simple verse. If you're sitting around on your back porch and you're just playing and just want to have something that you can play through pretty quick and learn pretty quick uh, to kind of get your fingers moving, and like this may teach you uh, some techniques, you know, on the neck that you may not know already, or will kind of fine tune some. Um, fine-tune some techniques that you already have. I should have the tablature linked below in the description if you'll check it out. I'll post tablature down there to where you'll have that to work with as well. I hope this has helped you guys. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.